Good morning, dear friends all over the world. Good afternoon, good evening, depending on your time zone. Here is Orifite. This is Orifite, precisely, and this is early morning of our Sunday morning. The Nigerian army, in their disguise, came into Orifite this morning to assassinate barrister Ifanyi. Ejofo. Unfortunately for them, the lion is still awake. And the, the worst part of it is that they didn't come through the gates. I want to, the whole world to know if this is the method of arrest, if not assassination, that a military personnel will come fence into a compound to adopt somebody. If they actually looking for a fine age of four, they should come through the gate and make sure that they arrest him normally. What they did this morning was to jump face as early as 3.30 this early morning, they jumped face and entered into this compound. Everybody is asleep. They adopted all the securities within the neighborhood, including one of his senior uh, brother, and they shot one of the security that is here and put his body on a boot and drove away to an unknown destination. As I speak with you, they took Barrister Scar, a Sianca, um, a Siana, or, or Camry, and dumped the body of the one they shot into the boot and drove off. I want to let the world know what is going on here today in Orifite. And I believe that if Weston is put across to the governor of the state, he will call Atlari come and say that he doesn't know about it. Yes, he may not know about it, but time shall tell. This is how the Fulani is toiling on their brain. In a place where the executive governor of the state will not know that an order has been set from Abuja to arrest, to arrest in his own state. But here we are. This is exactly what happened. I'll be bringing you um, a live witness to what happened here this morning, early this morning, and I want also to thank Chukwu Okabeyama that our barrister is still alive. The attack was to come and assassinate him so that he will no longer speak for the downtrodden. He will no longer speak for those that has no voice. That is exactly what happened here this morning. They took four security men away from this place shot one dead and put him on the boot and drove away. As I speak with you, till this moment, they are still not, there is no record about their whereabouts. Biafran, this is what is happening here in Ambala, uh, Biafran land, or if it is precisely. The enemies of Biafras are trying, but I tell you, they will surely fail. No one will challenge Kuo Kabeama and leave to see tomorrow. But we want to let the Nigerian government to know that the method they used to assassinate Barrister Ejofo this morning did not work them. The gate it was still intact. 